Welcome back to another video, guys. Here we have the beautiful, the brand new Harley Davidson 2023 Road Glide CBO. This thing is absolutely beautiful. This is the whiskey orange. There's also that other silver color that's absolutely beautiful as well. Um, but basically what we're gonna do today is that we're gonna review the bike, go over a few features on obviously the new looks of it. We're gonna go over the powertrain and a few little details, what we love about the bike. Um, I spent the full day yesterday, about seven hours on the bike. Uh, let me tell you, it, it's, it's a major, major upgrade when it comes from the old Rogue Glide from its predecessor, a few changes. So let's go over, obviously looks, the big elephant in the room, the big brand new redesigned fairing in the front with the integrated uh, light here. This thing is absolutely beautiful. You can see those lines flowing out from the fairing. You can see those lines going through the tank and through the bag. A lot, of, uh, a lot of people out there missed a lot of details when they saw the video that Harley Davidson released and a lot of the photos. They didn't see all the details on the lines on the tank. So if you guys have a chance uh, to see this bike in person, focus a lot on the tank, focus a lot on the bike because everything is literally redesigned from the front to the back, in and out. So obviously that big headlamp, this is one huge headlamp in the front right now, all LED. The turn signals are now integrated within that whole headlamp. It looks beautiful, um, even at nighttime. So the nighttime is when that light really stands out. You can see it from a mile away. Um, they did something really special with the light. They kind of integrated the, the Eagle, the Harley Davidson Eagle. And you can see that, I'll post a picture right here, how that light looks coming down. Uh, you can see the wings stretched out and that's designed to go within the light. Uh, so amazing, amazing job. Um, so the fairing redesigned, uh, the side skirt going down, really nice. It's one shorter piece now before on the older models. We have one that goes from the fairing all the way to the bottom. Uh, but now it's only a short piece right here. And down in the bottom, you have that cover right there, which is going to hide the uh, cooler down there. This bike is now liquid cool. So from the heads, water cooled from the head. Pumping out a lot of power now with that 121. VVT Milwaukee 8 engine. We're talking about 139 foot pounds of torque, 115 horsepower. It rips. Um, like I said, I spent the whole day yesterday on the bike. It rips through the corners. It just wants to dive in those corners. It wants you to ride it aggressively. Talking about riding aggressively, we got that brand new uh, suspension on the bike as well. So upside down forks, inverted front end, Brembo brakes in the front. The bike feels like a, like, like a total different monster. Uh, the back suspension as well feels great, um, fully adjustable as well. Uh, so you're gonna have access to adjust your, your preload at any liking, whether you want a stiffer ride or not. So we got uh, suspension, we got design, we got uh, 121, the biggest uh, engine that Harley Davidson offers from factory now on this bike. And then we have the redesigned bags back here as well. So we're all used to seeing the bags that are pretty squared off. These bags have more of a belly on the side of it. And you can see that profile when you look at it from the top to the bottom, you see how it just pops out. Um, you can see it from the side as well. Looks really nice. I think they did a fantastic job redesigning the key features in the bike, but at the same time, keeping that classic Rogue Glide look, keeping that classic Harley Davidson look, the sound, uh, even, even the sound, even with the stock pipes, guys, it just, it sounded great. It, to me, it has more of a gruntier, raspier sound. And I'm pretty sure that after a while, when these aftermarkets companies get out there and they start making cams, different exhausts for this bike, it's gonna have a very distinctive sound. It's gonna sound great. Um, and I'm, I'm really eager to see what the aftermarket is gonna do with that.
the tank. I really like the tank. It's beautiful. Um, also, something that got upgraded was the weight, right? So we got about 35 pounds shaved off of it. Out of those 35 pounds, five pounds of that had to do with all the wiring, all the internals in the front. So five pounds less of wiring on the bike. Uh, the rest had to do with shaving off pounds off the triple tree as well. We had the access to go to the PDC building today. I had the old uh, triple tree uh, set up and one hand and then the new one in one hand and it's the, the weight difference is drastic. Um, overall, the bike rode great. Like I said before, it, it, wants you to, it wants you to ride it really, really aggressive. This is a total different road glide uh, internally. Ow, it just, it, it, it looks different. Um, and it's just, the, the fairing inside, it just makes you feel like you're sitting inside of a cockpit, like if you're in a plane as well. It has just a nice look to it. <laughs> very clean with that 12.3 uh, inch dash right there. The biggest screen on any motorcycle as well. All digital, all touchscreen. It looks visible, it's right in front of you, it's very easy to access as well. Now, when it comes to controls, I was a little scared at first from the pictures. The hand controls looked like they were a little plasticky. They're not. A lot of premium parts on here. We're talking about Harley Davidson, we're talking about CBO, top of the top to the top. Um, so the hand controls are a bit different. Obviously, we are used to having our music and everything on the left side. That got switched over to the right now. Um, so a, a few new buttons, um, and it took me a little, a little time to kind of get used to it. Um, now having the volume on the right side is a little weird because I kind of got to take my hand off the throttle and kind of access my volume or change the song, whatever I want. But I guess it's something that we just got to get used to. Um, but the hand controls are all redesigned. If you guys have been on the Sports Arrest, the Nicer, hand controls are kind of similar like that. Um, so that's the type of uh, look you're gonna have. Um, also the bar setup, completely brand new. This bar setup has a, I believe it's anywhere from a 26 to a 28 degree angle that you're able to move the bar. Um, in case if you want the bar straight up, you want more of a ape hanger type of look, you can bring him closer to you, you can bring him kind of all the way down here. So it's pretty cool that you have access to adjust those bars now. Triple tree looks really nice, really nice designed as well. Um, this air cleaner right here, as you guys see, this is a Screaming Eagle Heavy Breather air cleaner that they put on it as well. It's not the one with the 121 badge on it. Uh, but the parts, everything around it looks great. The lights in the back as well, the rear fender redesigned with the lights integrated in them, looks great. Um, it's just, it, there's nothing really that I could pick about this bike that I don't like. Design-wise, from the beginning, I was a huge fan of it. I really think that the design team did an amazing job keeping the history, keeping the classic look, but giving it a modern touch. Um, and that, that, that's what I, I believe that that's what Harley-Davidson is trying to do. They're still trying to give us that same product with the classic look, with a modern taste now. Um, wheels look great, 19-inch wheel on the front as well, not a 21. A lot of people thought it was a 21 because of 20, 22 CVO last year had that same design wheel and it was a bigger wheel and that's what everybody was kind of basing it off but it's a 19 inch wheel on the front uh besides that thing we kind of kind of pretty much went over everything uh the fairing oh talking about the fairing we have that that redesigned uh windshield on top as well it looks really good they do have options already that you can get taller windshields a nice clear one as well so if you want to keep even more wind off of you you do have that option um, one thing that they also spoke about was just the wind deflection, which I also felt yesterday on the ride. I felt like I had a little less wind off of my body. I really enjoyed the ride. This bike just, this bike wants you to ride it hard. It's full of power and it's, it's, it's something else. I'm, uh, I'm happy with it. I'm really, really happy with it. If you guys are, uh, if you guys do want to go and test the bike out, uh, check out your local dealership, check out your local demo days, take her out. Uh, if you don't want to take my advice, trust me, go out, take a look for yourself. Um, you're you're going to be very, very, very surprised 
pretty much covered everything, guys. I hope you guys liked the review. There's going to be a few more videos coming out from this week as well. We're here in beautiful Milwaukee. I have enjoyed my time here. So there should be about four or five videos coming out later on this week and the next two weeks to come. Tune in for that. If you're not yet subscribed, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And um, throw a leg over this bike. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace. All right. Gentlemen, gentlemen, thank Nailed you so it. much.